So I'm trying to keep coming with original designs for you guys, especially for these custom blasters that I'm going to end up giving away. But I also have a bunch of custom kits I made in the past that I'm trying to repurpose because, you know, it's a lot of time and money to print these different things, mostly time. Um, but initially when I got my 3D printer, I had a ton of top loader gel blasters. So I was making a lot of carbine kits for those um, and modifying so they worked with the top loaders. But as my channels progress, as I've gotten a lot more blasters, I'm getting away from some of those top loaders into, you know, better blasters, cooler blasters, that kind of stuff. So I wanted to take a carbine kit and I wanted to convert it so that I could use it with, initially I was going to try to do it with an M4A1. Um, that wasn't going to work out as easily. And I'll talk about why. But this uh, M4 Wasp or M416, whatever you want to call it, basically the SKD M4 model that we see all over the place, um, you know, with the M4 Wasp, with the M416s, the M4 Raptors, even the Tommy Gun, they all have that same gearbox. So I wanted to convert this carbine kit to work with that to give you a really cool looking kind of uh, blaster that's still going to have the priming feature. It's still going to use the drum mag and it's still going to look really cool. I haven't decided what color we're going to paint this out. Obviously you can see I've done some work on it. I've done some filling. I need to do some sanding. And then I had to print some additional parts to make everything work right. But I definitely like where I'm going with it. So let's talk a little bit about it, right? So this is the laser mag M416. They're one of those companies that gives you tons of accessories. So lots of accessories with it. So I just had thrown a couple on here. So I'm going to pull this off quick and kind of show you what I did. So initially this carbine kit again had a chunk cut out so that you could uh, put a top loader on it. Obviously that's not what we're trying to do here. So first thing I need to do is I wanted to make a really short barrel uh, for a couple reasons. First, it had to be short, but it had to be narrow. So you can see down there how narrow it is. I still need to hit that with some more paint. But so it's a nice, very narrow barrel so that it fits in there. So I'll have, I'm going to have to go ahead and pull this off. And it should just twist and pull off. I just got to figure out which way it twists. There we go. Well, actually, I think I could have just pulled. Well, let's see. I used the same stock connector piece, but it is pretty tight. So I'm not sure why I'm not popping it off. Okay, there, it's starting to come. It's just actually on there really tight is all. There we go. And you can see there's definitely some friction in between there. So that's part of it. But this has that stock connector piece, so it can go ahead and slide on there and lock in place. And then I just put this kind of outer bezel just to give it a little more, you know, unique look. Definitely safer to have that nice, but it's that cool knurled texture there, right? So also, since there wasn't going to be a way to put a grip up front, went ahead with kind of a little magwell like this that's going to mount right here. I'm going to actually probably tack it um, to the actual receiver up here because that's past the um, magwell so it's not going to conflict with anything there's actually just you know hollow space up there so i'll probably just do a quick screw with a small washer on each side right there and that way you got a nice little grip when you're shooting okay and then what else we did so this should actually slide all the way off so here you can see where I had to make a repair, right? So that's where I had the um, chunk cut out for the top loader. So I printed the piece, fit it in there nice. We'll do some filler in there too. And then we'll go ahead and get that all painted out. And then this actually just slides on. And again, it is tight, but basically just put a rail in there, reverse rail, whatever you want to call it, to slide right on. So that piece will slide right on. This was just kind of to do some cleanup for some areas that I had to cut. Again, all that will get painted out really nice. And then, of course, I did have to do some modification here. However, you're not going to see that, and then you're going to have these nice edges on the sides, right, to cover that up. And then these two pieces, when they go together, those are going to slide over the top anyway. So 
that's how that's going to work. Now I didn't want to lose the charging function. So my idea was to go ahead and put a little charging extender here. So again, it's more for those who are right handed. So sorry for those lefties, but you're going to be able to just still go ahead and charge it on this side. And that's why this is cut up high like this on this side and then like this. So, all right. So that is going to be my laser mag M4 wasp, M416, whatever we want to call it. Custom kit that kind of really shows you everything that went into it. Um, definitely had to do some additional printing of pieces, but it's really cool to be able to reuse these carbide kits on something cooler and newer to give away instead of those top loaders. And I thought this was a great way to do it. So we'll go ahead, I'm gonna get it all sanded up really nice um, and then painted. I'm not sure what color I'm gonna do. So we got the baby blue. I don't really want to do white because white just, I don't think works great. Um, but maybe I will. I do have some white. Anyway, we're going to end up seeing it probably be a black or a gray. Um, I don't think I have any good blues that will really complement that, but I might. So we'll see. Anyway, and of course, you're going to have the nice orange safety tip and you got the big drum magazine with it. So check back. I'll do a reveal, obviously, once it's all done. But this was kind of a good in-depth um, showing you everything I went through with this one, how I'm converting it over, and hopefully you guys are going to really be happy with it when it's done. Thanks for the support. Comments, questions, post them below. Of course, like, subscribe, share my channel with your friends, and participate in the monthly giveaways.